Okay, kids, um, welcome to the first lesson of the Teenager Week. Uh, we are moving on from <coughs> where we were, which was where? Watch Paris? Uh, NEA. NEA, what part of the NEA? Uh, circuit analysis. Very good, yeah. circuit analysis. Remember that we were looking at three different circuits that other people have made and how they could be useful in our circuit that we're producing. Now, we're moving on from that and we're going to uh, we're going to do the next part, which is circuit design. And I think some of you have already sort of started bits and pieces of this, uh, which is absolutely fine, but I just want you to know exactly how I want the page laid out, which for me is really important because I think it includes all the information. So let's just give ourselves the page, which is a bit messily drawn actually. Um, so this is a piece of, oh I'm not liking that, no. at all. I don't know about that one. Right, it's our page. Um, what's the first thing we're going to do, Paul? Uh, add a genie. Sorry? Add a genie. Add a genie? Uh, a, a title. Uh, Very good, the title. Let's start off with the title. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, it's going to be circuit design. And probably what we want to do, thank you, Paris. Uh, we're going to probably put one. Yeah, because it's going to be the first of. If you're wanting some mediocre marks, you probably want to do two and a final. If you want the best marks, you'll do three and a final. Yeah? I'm, I'm saying we need to do three. It's up to you. <coughs> circuit design one. So, on circuit design one, I want you to start off by the title and then what? Introduction. Oh, you're on fire. Intro. Jeez. On this page, I'm going to be looking at a design, my first design for a circuit. Um, I've got to make sure Paris, I've got to make sure that it shows the number between one and six, and I can get those get five different results in 10 seconds, whatever that sort of rough design brief is. Yeah? Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. You also may want to explain exactly what you're doing with this particular circuit. Okay? So you might just want to, with a few words, explain what you're trying to do. Especially when we go into later editions of this and how one iteration is changing to the next iteration. Do you get me? On the last circuit, it wasn't very successful because it took a long time for the program to load. It took, um, let's say, the LEDs came on, but they weren't bright enough. The buzz is sounding, but no one could really hear it. Therefore, I'm going to introduce a more different component like a transistor or something. Are you with me? And that will hopefully increase the sound, but also if I use a different program, hopefully the program will be faster. Are you with me, boys? You look a little bit switched off at the moment, like you're not quite here. Uh, is this just for the circuit and not the program? This is the whole lot. I'm going to go through the whole so lot. So the circuit and the program in one slot. I'm going to go through the whole lot today. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Ah, oh, no. So we're going to just put like a line along there, which is you explaining it there, yeah? What's well, so the last thing we want? Conclusion. Thank you very much. I would suggest a conclusion. PSPs. It's done. Uh, PSPs. We've already oh, done this. It does ask that. Uh, uh, we could do uh, client comments. Okay, conclusion, right at the bottom. Just concluding what we have learned from this page and what we're going to do on the next page. Are you with me? Sure? Right. Now there's these things called concept sketches. Now concept sketch is a feature of the marks we use. So what do we want to include in our study? A drawing. Concept sketches, yeah? And a concept sketch is not necessarily something that you write, it's just an idea. So first of all, what I want you to do is produce a really rough pencil sketch
the circuit. All right? Pencil. Pencil sketch. And then take a picture of it, whack it in. And I'm really happy for you just to do a few lines. And I'm very happy for this to be fundamentally incorrect. Because I will say that is your first, or maybe even your second iteration in regards to we've got an idea, we put that down as a little concept sketch, and now we've got to work on that bit better. All right? Next up, we're going to put in something called a system diagram. What is a system diagram? James. It has uh, inputs, processes, and outputs. That's it. So now, and a lot of people like to do some sort of funky sort of thing like this. You my system diagram. So system diagram has the inputs. So what's the input, do you reckon? For this TK. Yeah, very good. So, what I, so Farris, just expand on that. What happens when the PTM is pressed? Uh, when it's pushed to make it pressed, it activates. It doesn't activate, it, does it? It signals a genie. Right, it doesn't signal a genie. It's when the it PTM pulls, is pressed. It pulls out. And not that, no, it doesn't pulse pull out. It pulses. Okay, it pulses. What happens to the genie when you press a push to make button? Connects the current to the yeah, one of the legs, oh, yeah. one of the input legs. It's really that simple. When I press the push button, one of the input legs on the genie goes up. That is it. That's that's what happens to the input. The process would be something like when one of the input legs goes high on the genie, um, I'll write a program so that three out three outputs go high in consecutive order. Yeah, whatever it is, you know, whatever you're going to be doing. So you don't have to actually, you know, say D1, Q, Q3. All you've got to do is roughly explain what's going on what's with a few words, way? yeah? Like a sentence or two. A sentence, say. yeah. Process. Yeah. So once the, once the input thing goes high, I'm going to write a program that does this, and that will, be, and that will hopefully control that. Outputs, what's the output going to be? So what if we did this for <laughs> circuit analysis where we explained what the, each point does? But you've already done that in circuit analysis. What yeah. you're saying is, this is what I'm going to do because this is what I'm trying to do in this given stage. So if you're trying to make an electronic dice, for example, which shows three different results in 10 seconds, it may be that the input will be a PTM, uh, the process will be create a random number between one and six, and then depending upon that number, um, illuminate a configuration of four different outputs, which are linked to uh, a series of LEDs. Are you with me on that? Is that quite fast? Faris, are you with me? Put that pen down for Faris. Okay? Are you with me on this? And then the outputs, we're going to go back to that, and let, that electronic dice example. What would the outputs be? Seven seconds. No, electronic dice, what we made. Oh, LEDs. LEDs. A series of different LEDs will come on depending upon what number is being randomly selected. Are you with me? Are you sure you're with me? Don't, are you, with your faces, you're not with me. Inputs, processes, what's going on in the genie, and the outputs, how are we going to control those outputs? Sure? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. What's next? Right. Next up is the bit that you'll be more familiar with, and that will be in the middle here on Circuit Wizard. I want you to create a working circuit diagram. I put CW down there, yeah? Circuit wizard. So this should work, right? And of course, you've got on here the G14, and you've probably got an input down in here somewhere. And you've probably got a series of different LEDs. <coughs> Maybe one of these is going to be like a buzzer or something. Okay? That is our circuit diagram. Are you with me? And you're familiar with this because you've done this in your last project and you also did it with the dice project. You're really familiar with that. Okay, so is that the page finished? 
Not quite yet. I'm going to do this in blue. I think probably it will be better done in uh, red. What I want you to do is circle part of the circuit. For example, do you not like it or not? Not too. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, I'm going to take it down here. I want you to explain exactly how your circuit is working. Okay? So here, and I would probably be, and we're running out of room a little bit, we'll do something like that. You with me? Yeah. Explain how it works. Now, if your circuit is very similar to your previous circuit, for example, two, three, or four, then you just have to highlight the areas that you've changed. Mohammed, are you with me? Is that gum nice in your mouth? Spit it in the bin, please. Right, are you with me? Oh, Paul, you're not with me, are you? You're with the words. Come on. Focus, just a little bit longer, all right? Because then we've got a record of this. I can put it on the team, and you can do it every week. The circuit diagram is the actual circuit diagram, not like a pencil. Right? No, this is the one from Circuit Wizard. Okay. Circuit Wizard, yeah, TW. Yeah. Circuit Wizard, circuit diagram. Okay, and this is just some writing explaining what's going on. Now, what else do you reckon you might need of here? Client feedback. Ah, yes, well done. We also need a program. Yes? Yeah. You with me? Now, what's the problem with having our program here? It's probably too big. Sorry? It might be too oh, big. Sorry. What, the program's too big? Yeah. Yeah, totally. The likely of it is, we can stick our program in here, but you're not going to be able to read it, are you? Mm -hmm. That's likely. But I would like to see your program in there, no matter how big or small it is. The other thing I want down here is, I'll do a drawing of it. Oh, come on, not bad, right? Oh, no. so, um, oh, a QR code. Yay, QR code. Oh, so, no. I want the QR code down there. Uh, oh, what sorry. is that QR code linked to? That QR code is linked to a video of you showing the virtual model of your program. So, we're going to get this working. We've got the circuit diagram. No, guys, come on. Got the circuit diagram, we've got the program. We can get this running on computers. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? We then take this home, we show it to our client. And it's really good if we can see a picture of our client looking at this on screen and I say, What do you think of that? And she may say, I think this is fine, but I'm not too fussed about there just being one button here. And how do you turn this circuit on and off? And wouldn't it be better if there was like another button that I could roll a, I could roll a result between 2 and 12, or 1 and 12? Yeah? Alex, what's the problem here? Um, I'm confused. I, it's good. I'm not going to be able to do this until the weekend. Totally, we'll stop doing it until Monday. Right. Now, there is also, there's also an issue of how do I, how do I send this to my <laughs> client when my client lives in a different country? Is that that issue? Gordon? Yeah. Is that the issue? Mm -hmm. So what I would like very much is for you to have this on screen and for you to explain what's going on and then send the QR code over to your client. They can look at it and they can give you some feedback. Okay? So you can be explaining what's going on and then you can have either an, an audio, audio file sorry, or maybe another QR code of another video or yeah, even video. just some writing. Paul, you done sleep? No. Yeah. Right. Okay, so are we good here? Yeah. So do we see there's a lot of stuff packed into this page? Let me do it three times. I want you to do it twice this week. Okay, I want one and two done this week. I want three and four done next four. week. Four. Alternatively, if you one, want, two. you can just do one this week and do two and three next week. Two and three being two and final. So I want three of these done in total. We have one. 
On one slide, if they fit. Yeah, you can. I don't mind. If it, so if you could, if you could do that, split that, for example, and that be your first program, whatever, and then you can show you get the modifications, highlight them, highlight the modifications, what's going on, a bit of explanation on the first one, and then you do the third one. Absolutely fine. Equally well, I know that some people, like Frank, for example, has an absolutely enormous <laughs> program. So we're going to put that on one slide. He's going to have to. He's made something smaller, so he's going to have to. He's blitzing stuff. Combinations. All right. Questions, guys. Conclusion comes at the end. Paul, how are you doing? Yeah, you went to stand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to say it again. Yeah. You want to say it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what I want you working on this lesson. Okay. This lesson. Oh. All right. Mohammed, I'm going to turn this off now. Stop it. And then we're going to 